Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about an IBM code pattern for creating an application that uses Watson services like Watson Knowledge Studio to analyze SMS messages for extracting domain specific entries like merchant, location, and offer details. So let's get into some of the details for this code pattern. The data that we're going to use are a bunch of text messages that have offers in them. The offers contain entries such as dates, location, phone numbers, a website maybe, and of course the offer itself. Watson has a service called Natural Language Understanding that you could use out of the box to pick up some of these entries, if you're lucky. The takeaway we want to hammer home is that if you use Watson Knowledge Studio to train a model, even a basic one, your results are going to get way better. All the information for this repo can be found at github.com slash ibm slash sms analysis with wks. So how does all this work together? We have an architecture diagram to explain just that. The gist of it is that the model has to be created in Watson Knowledge Studio and a user calls Natural Language Understanding Service with a specific model ID. They can do this from any client, such as a phone, a browser, even a curl command will work. Let's also briefly touch on how Watson Knowledge Studio actually works. Like most machine learning, it requires a data set, a little bit of tweaking, and then creating the model itself. We go through this in much, much greater detail in the README, so be sure to look at that at the, in the Git repo for additional details. The rest of the README in the repository provides the user with step-by-step -step instructions on how to deploy a small Java application we built and how to use Watson Knowledge Studio for this specific example. Included in the README are instructions on how to test this out with curl. This is the quickest way to make sure your model is working as expected. The arguments you'll need to supply are the username and password for our natural language understanding service and the idea of the model we want to use. Additionally, we need to pass in the text we want analyzed. It's a bit off the screen here, but you can see it if you look at the web page. You can see based on the output of the curl command that our model is working as expected. It is able to pick up the merchant, location, offer, offer period, and terms and conditions. So what would happen if we didn't use Watson Knowledge Studio to build our model? Well, we include this output as well to really show the advantages of training a model. It identifies a merchant using the company label, but it doesn't quite get the location correct. The confidence score isn't very high for that entry either. Now let's retry this example with a basic Java application. There are instructions for building and running the bundled web application. These are included in the README. We have instructions for how to do this locally on your own computer and how to deploy it to IBM Cloud. It's a pretty basic web application written in Java. Just a few lines of code to handle creating a text box, uh, sending that input to the Watson APIs, and then returning the results in a more human readable format. We specify the model ID as an environment variable, so look in the README on how to do this for your, web app, for your web application. We're going to use the same sample message as before. It's about a new donut shop that is offering three free donuts when you purchase three. That's a pretty good deal. It expires sometime in February, so let's use it soon. As expected, the Natural Language Understanding Service understood the entries we trained to pick it up. The merchant name, location, offer, offer period, in terms of conditions, are all picked up and displayed. That's it for our video. A few key takeaways to remember is that when using Watson Natural Language Understanding, adding Watson Knowledge Studio into the mix makes it much more powerful. This example can be, can be easily extended to other use cases like detecting fraudulent or malicious comments. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.